I filmed this review months and months ago when I first finished the book because I wanted to get an immediate reaction. I didn't have any good lighting, so the video itself is not the best, but I was so excited for the book that I just thought I would go ahead and put that old review up. Take 20. This video is such a mess. I filmed it so long ago, I somehow lost the end of the footage. So I'm going to insert some of that old footage and just sort of piece it together with the footage I'm filming now. And stay tuned at the end of the video because I have a giveaway of the lovely ARC edition, American ARC, uh, advanced reader copy if you're unaware. It was given out at BEA this year. I got an extra one for you. So stay tuned at the end to find out how to get your hands on this. I just finished the best book I've read all year. First off, I have to thank Kaz over at Little Book Owl for recommending this book. I specifically sought it out at BEA because she loved it. I trust her opinions so much, mainly because we share a bronze horseman love. She's never steered me wrong. Thank you, Kaz. So, Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This book is unlike anything I have ever read before. It's all written in documents, emails, reports, surveillance camera summaries, IM chats, web pages. It opens up with an interview, but then it jumps into this website and diagrams, and I got a little scared. I thought it was going to be disjointed and really hard to follow, but it completely sucked me in. I'm just amazed by the effort put into this. So what the heck is this book about, you may be wondering? Illuminae is futuristic sci-fi about a mega corporation that decides to declare war on this little planet called Carenza, and three rescue ships fly in to save the unsuspecting civilians of this planet who are just suddenly being bombed, and the rest of the action takes place in space. Yes! I know space is scary for some, but for me, outer space is the single most intriguing, astounding thing. I can't even wrap my mind around it. We'll never figure it out or learn all of its secrets. So cool! These broken stars lied to me. I looked at this beautiful cover. Look at this beautiful cover. And I was like, yes! Space! And I heard this described as Titanic in space. I have a slight interest in the Titanic tragedy. And I was expecting this to be about this spaceship and this epic crash, and I thought that was going to be the whole book, but it wasn't. There's a very tiny amount of space and the rest of it is an exploration, wilderness, survival kind of story. This book is, is entertaining if that's what you're looking for, but it wasn't what I was looking for. I was left without my outer space adventures. Well, this book more than makes up for that. So, the refugees on these three ships that flew in to rescue the civilians are now trying to outrun this corporation that's been bombing them. Basically want to annihilate everyone who is on Carenza. Also, a deadly virus on one of the ships that is a result of biological warfare. This virus is spreading throughout this one ship. It's causing people to go mad and murderous and they can't contain it and they don't know what to do and it's just spreading and spreading. And on another ship, we have an artificial intelligence system that is having an existential crisis. It was damaged in the bombings on Carenza. It's trying to figure out the meaning of life and it's trying to protect its people, but in fact it's, it's working against them even though it thinks that it's helping. All I could think about at first was that it was like Smart House to the extreme. If you're old like me, you'll remember Pat very well also. Artificial intelligence is scary, man. My god. Anyway, this book is masterfully executed. The high-energy, fast-paced sci-fi thriller that managed to develop this really touching romance in the midst of all of this terror and excitement, and the two characters involved in this touching romance were awesome. It was their witty, standout personalities that hooked me right in the beginning during this very first interview on the first couple of pages. When I was still feeling unsure about the format of the book, I could already tell that I loved them, and they are who I kept reading for, because I wanted more of them. As it says somewhere on the back, I'm not sure where exactly because look at this craziness, but somewhere in here it says that this book is about everyday heroes 
and it really is. Nobody here is a chosen one or born special for no apparent reason. These characters are brave. They're just brave fighters and wickedly smart hackers who stand up because they see something's wrong and they can do something about it. And I love that. And they make me laugh. This book made me cry as well, but honestly, everything makes me cry. I'm not kidding. I get teary over especially sappy TV commercials. So a real test is when a book strikes me so funny that I actually have to laugh right out loud. This book accomplished that several times. I've told you what this book is about. It's intense and gruesome and terrifying. It's not funny, but the characters could always be counted on to bring some much needed levity to the situation. Such a perfect balance between terror and humor and intrigue. Just beautiful. I need this book to become a movie. It reads like a script because of the way that it's formatted and it's so, so visual. A lot of my, oh wait, this isn't my copy. This is your copy. This is the one with all my markers in it. Oh, I can't show that. That's a spoiler. A lot of my favorite passages in this book have strike throughs in them because these are all official documents so any sort of literary embellishments that the writers of the documents made have been stricken from the official record but a lot of that had some of my favorite writing in it so it's interesting. The crazy artificial intelligence is a very lyrical writer. <laughs> We get to read a lot of what goes on in the mind of the artificial intelligence and it's all very poetic. A lot of it is kind of scary, but it's written so beautifully. It caught me off guard. It just wasn't what I was expecting and it made me have feelings for the terrifying machine. Illuminae is surprisingly moving and heart pounding given the format and the structure of the book. It doesn't seem like it would be able to evoke that kind of reaction. And it wound up telling the most intense and wonderful story I've read in a long time. This beautiful story is going to be unleashed on the world on October 20th. And if you'd like an early American copy of this book, I have it here for you. This giveaway will be open until October 20th. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite book of 2015 so far and you'll be entered. So good luck, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! By J. Kaufman, nope. Ugh, I can't say that sentence, ever. <gasps> I'm not filming this again. <laughs>